Morning everyone, welcome to Road Road and Restore. I'm John and, and this is a C21E engine off a CBR 1000F. Okay, now look right. In this video, we're going to be removing this cylinder head. So without further ado, let's get on with it. Ooh. Oh yes, and look what I got for Christmas. I think all these are loose because, if you remember rightly, back in the summer, I did take the cam chain tensioner out and check it. And check the cam chain feels all nice and loose, no tight spots. So let's whip these off. A suitable container to put them in. Yep, they're all loose. Oh dear, if you were using a spanner, you'd still be doing it, wouldn't you? That's for that one. That's that one. That's that one. Please be aware, this is not an how-to video, because if you ask me what these are called, I ain't got a clue. Well, I have, but I forgot. So that's them off, and we should be able to get the cams out. Then the other cam. Don't have to worry about the camera chain falling through the engine because the tensioner is in the middle. So, don't think I need to undo any of these. Just need to do all the big main bolts. Or do I? Could I see them all? It's two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Yes, I think I can get to all of those without undoing all this crap. Because all I want to do is check the cylinder head and the cylinder head gasket and the cylinder block. So. I think we've got to get the tensioner out. Could you leave that in? I don't know. Yeah, probably going to get the tensioner out. So let me whip the tensioner out. Oh, these are tight. Oh, it's a lot easier with them, isn't it? If it's easier on these 15 mil bolts or 14 mil, whatever they are. Okay, yeah, so we've got these little oil clips to get out. Oh, that's a good job. I'll check that because that one is almost out. Yeah, that would have been very good, would it? It was already hanging out. Probably catastrophic. Car boot a couple of years ago. Perfect for this. 
50p. Oh, yes. And these little pins should just come out. <laughs> Who does that remind you of? Guys, who does that remind you of? Oh, I should have done it wrong, sorry. Oh, no, it's stuck, it's back in stock. Oh no, I better cut this bit out. Ah, that's it. from the middle and go out. I'm not forgetting these bloody Allen key bolts. I could find that other one but I made a socket up didn't I? If I can find that for these four Allen key bolts. She probably can't see. It's one, two, three, four. They were a nightmare to undo on the last one. Hopefully this tool is going to make it easier. So anyway, let's try to find that socket with the Allen key on it. I think I'll try and under those first. Alrighty then, so I can't find my own made socket, but I found this one, which is a smaller quarter inch, so I've got an adapter. Put that in there. That one there, and uh, put it in reverse. Stick it down there. That's not moving at all with this. So to the old-fashioned way. Get a bar on that hopefully. We can do it. Tell me I'm going to have to lie the engine down again. Please. Get around there. Get my foot on it. It's all good for me. See anything? Oh, yeah, that's got that. Sure, that got it. Just double check. Yep, that's got it. Next. Next. Yes. Let's try to move up. Eight, twelve. 
see if it works on these ones. <laughs> Yes, I can see it turning. Oh shit. Oh, that's one gone down there. I can still see it. Oh my god, did you see that? Perhaps I should have stuck a cloth down there. See if we can get it with our trusty magnet. shoot off that much. If it's off there, it as well leave it off. Put it in the box. Just whack some of it down there. Should have done that in the first place. Disaster. Please, please don't mess me about. I think I did get some uh, special sockets for a couple of Christmases ago. Let me see if I can find them. Oh my god. Okay. Oh. Yes, I always forgot. I did get these for Christmas. Not this Christmas, the Christmas before.
I get what they're called, but they're special tools for rounded off knots. So, let's try that one. Uh, yeah, these are only quarter inch, not half inch, so I'll have to use the uh, adapter. So I'll put the adapter in there. Yeah. Take that off there. Put that in there. Yeah, that feels quite tight. Get a couple of taps. Yep, I think that's on there. Okay. Please. Please work. Please be my friend. Please. Here we go. Oh, wrong way. Saved my life. Bloody hell. Can't get it out of there. Who cares? I've got another set in the other shed. God. God. I was proving myself then. I was really proving myself. Gonna stay to that. Oh, yes, I would recommend them. Don't know what they're called, but I would recommend them. Especially if you get them for Christmas. Oh, it saved my life. Um, where are we? Anyway, I think we've only got these four. Let's see if we can whack them undone. See what I'm doing now, can you? Just don't done them too. Guess that's it, and it's just these last two. I think. Let's check. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Yep, that's all of them out. Um, I don't know, I've got to these ones, do not I? I slackened them, but I didn't do them all the way. Yet. I'm sure I'm selecting these four Allen key bolts, so let's 
get these out. One. Two. Three. Stuck behind the tensioner. Not the tensioner, the chain guide. Fish them out or not? Ooh, yes, three. Ooh. That's it. Now we should be able to bash this head off. Or is it? Hold on. Sometimes there's bolts around the side. Let me just check. Okay, don't think there's any more bolts. Hopefully you can see there. Loose. Let's get my glove on. Come on, baby. Don't want to come off. Well, I don't want to come off. Something to do with the guide. I think it's something to do with the cam chain guide. It's not letting it come up. Yeah, got to go back down. Come on, you got to go back down. Right then, so how do you get that uh, cam chain guide out? Where do you pull that out? You just grab it with some pliers or something. Remember on the last one. Oh. There we go. And hopefully we should be able to lift off now. Okay. See what happens this time. What's happening then? See the gas gets stuck to it. Yes, bloody gas gets stuck to it. It would be, wouldn't it? Looks a bit rough in there. Jesus. Very nice, isn't it? Why is it not coming out? Ooh, it's got a bloody pipe on it. <laughs> it's 
Still got a pipe attached. Dickhead. Got a rubber pipe attached to it. <laughs> I told you I don't know what I'm doing. Oh my god. Ooh. Yes, I think that absolutely needed to come off. My suspicions were right. Definitely roast. So what's that cylinder for as we sit on the bike? Yeah, use two hands, Johnny. Well, I'm not sure what's gone off. I do know on the other cylinder this wall had corroded away and this one looks all right why is that all water in there? that water is sealed up Get it oh my god One looks all right. That one looks bad. And that one looks badder. And that one looks very, very bad. Oof. Yeah, the barrels look all right. The pops. Well, these two anyway. I suppose I'm going to have to take the barrels off. I suppose I'm going to have to take the block off. It's going to be fun and games getting the pistons back in, isn't it? Don't seem to be any play. Nope, doesn't seem to be any play. Plenty of crap. I'm glad the cylinder block seems alright. It's not corroded through like the other one. I'm wondering if that's where I had it in storage and the water's got in there. Anyway, so that's the head off. And that's what it looks like inside. Pretty nasty. So I'm going to call that the end for this video because I'm not sure what I'm going to do now. Uh, yeah, definitely got to think on that. Uh, definitely had an art stopping moment <coughs> with that nasty bolt, nasty knot. That saved my life. So yes, hope you've enjoyed it, hope it's been of some help to you, so stay safe, stay well, and we'll see you on the next one.